That is our campsite. Cost Top Reese Park, and this is the very last loop. Three big trees. All right, this is the last loop that we are staying in. Really nice area. I don't know if y'all can see them though. There's these little gnat things that are just in grows, man, and they buzz your face and your eyes. And they will not leave you alone. The thermos cells do help, but we're unfortunately away from the thermos cells. But we're walking to this mill area. Don't you pull on mama. And we'll drive through uh, again with the GoPro so you can see the whole campground. But I just take a, a few shots here and there as we do our walk. This was a campsite we thought was pretty cool. Plenty of room. Nice view.
Dog over there that looked like it might have been healer too. Oh goodness. We're down in the other loop and there's a cat over there. A flat rock or a headstone. And we're gonna go see. This is what she saw from the roof. I can get up there. And it just looks like a flat rock. There's no... No, no riding in it. Do you see? It looks yeah. like a headstone. From the road, it did look like a headstone. Just we'll get a shot of the woods that we're in while we're up here. I've heard a lot of wildlife. Not sure what all we heard, but there was noises in them there woods. This is a beautiful place. It's just an awesome place to come. guys this is the King Camp compass on them that can be used over your hatch on your vehicle or it can be used in other ways first off notice these little vents on the top these are stiff to hold that open to create some airflow there's one of those on both sides to set it up this way you stake both the back corners to the ground It's windy today, so I chose to add a tie in the middle. On the front, there's two poles, and this setup actually comes with four poles. You could take two poles that I didn't use in this way and put in the back corner and have the back up the same as the front. But with the way the wind is today, I didn't feel like that would be a very good way to set it up. As you can see, there's room for two chairs. There's room behind the two chairs you could put stuff. 
we've got a combing table in front here. You could slide that table back and you could get two more chairs if you wanted to. And uh, I added tie downs to the front. And this one I just used this table to tie to since it was convenient. The same with this one over here. And then I used stakes for the other way. Now, the stakes that come with this King Camp awning are no good. These are these are aluminum. And you can see that one's already bent. And from beating on it, I flattened the top. So the first thing you're gonna do is trash them and go get you some of these bad boys. Those are great. Now I did get some of these and they hold pretty good too, but I'm just a fan of the nails. This is the cinch sack that it came in. Everything fits in there. And it has these cinch straps. Once you get it in there and zip, you can strap it down. These are to tie it to the rear wheels of the vehicle if you're putting it over the hatch of your vehicle. And then this bag here is the bag that all the poles come in. Holds all the poles. And there's the extra two. Now there's actually two positions you can use those extra poles for. You can use them in the back corner like I told you earlier. Instead of staking it to the ground. And it'll be up like this. But when you use it on the car that end goes over your car the very end goes over the car and then those poles will go here in the middle to hold that up so it'll be vehicle pole and then your front pole and i've got it set up on the vehicle for i did it at the house so i had that footage here so you can see what it looks like but you can see it's making some shade and it's got some, it's catching air, so you're getting some airflow on you. Yeah, it's a lot cooler under here than it was without it. So, I did a time lapse or a hyper lapse of me setting this up. And it did take me a little while because I was still trying to figure some stuff out. Uh, we've got this wall that came with it. We ordered the this extra. Cost a little more if you get that with it. And uh, it'll hang down. It don't go all the way to the ground. It leaves about a foot above the ground where it stops. And uh, it'll Velcro around your pole. And I just used the Velcro to hold this up like that so it's not completely shut off. Anyway, this is it. The King Camp Compass Awning. This is like the extended version of the regular one. Talk to y'all later. Okay, we've had some pretty good gust on wind. And so far it's holding up pretty good. I'm sure if it's uh, really gusty, you're going to want to take this thing down. But it will take a little bit of wind. Okay, we have been here before in a previous video when we was mapping routes for Onyx around Lake Gillum. And this is up by the dam on Gillum, the back side of it. Like I said we have been here before and we walked down there and took some video. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time here. They're saying we've got some rain moving in. Some people have already packed up and left, but we're going to take our chances. It don't take us long to get everything packed up. And we'll have everything we're not needing already loaded this evening so if it does get bad we can just throw the tent down and throw it on top of the car and head on out.
fishing. Really nice area right here. It's like this is handicap accessible. Got some stairs over here. Come down here and have a barbecue. Tall there. If you can see it or not, but right in the middle of the picture, there's something worth looking at. I don't know 
is going to let me get close enough to get a good shot of it. I get closer, it gets further away. <laughs> <laughs> 